to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm homeschooling mom to one. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you our December homeschool plans. Now, if you're new to homeschooling, if you've been thrown into it this year, or if this was just your first year to start homeschooling, and you're like, why are they doing something different for December? Let me let you know, you can like pump the brakes on your current curriculum and you can take it easy during December. Remember, we have the freedom to do what we want to in our homeschool. So, December is the month that I kind of slow it down just a little bit. Now, today's video is in collaboration um, with Ingrid over at the Ingrid Chronicles. She is the host of this collaboration. So you wanna check her channel out and you also wanna check out the playlist so you can see the other holiday plans so you can get some ideas for what you can do in December. Now, if you're new to my channel, we do use Gather Around Homeschool. Um, but deep down inside, I am secretly wanting us to be unschoolers. I have done so much research over the past two and a half years on interest-led learning, natural learning, intentional learning, and unschooling, and I'm so hoping we can eventually get to that spot where we are unschoolers. That's what I want. That's what I know my son needs. I know the kind of learner he is, and I know that's what's best for him. So I thought, you know what? We're gonna try it out in December. So the one thing I know about my son is he does wanna choose what he wants to learn, but sometimes he just needs a little bit of a guide. So here are some things that I have. He does not have to do these things. They are going to be there if he needs them. And one way I can um, work on the unschooling life in our house is using the Thinking Trees Fun Schooling Journals. Now we've had a couple of these in our home that we use here and there, but I'm really ready to dive in and do this. I'm ready to do this unschooling thing. So I'm gonna share with you the journals that we're using. I'll also link them below. I'll also link the website below where you can go and check these out because they offer them in PDFs also. Um, so this is kind of what we're using for December. So like I said, he doesn't have to use these books, but if he needs some inspiration or wants somewhere to write down his thoughts, these books are great for that. So this is the Science Handbook and Portfolio. You can find flip throughs of most of these on Amazon, but it just has different things like biography of a scientist, um, science stories, they can make up their own story, and my son loves to write stories. Um, there's things for science projects, you can, there's grids for record keeping. So this is an excellent one because he's really into science. We also just have a core journal. This is the library-based curriculum journal and he has used pages out of this um, to do some work. We used to use these on Fun Fridays. That's when we started using them and we've just, the love for them has grown because they give him a little bit of a guide. They let him choose what he wants to learn, but he has like a guide of what to do next. Here's from his hour of reading. So we really enjoy these um, core journals. So that's a core. And then just recently I bought him all about space. He has been very interested in space these last couple of weeks. And so this book is excellent. It does have like all the other ones um, a little bit of a guide. So here's where you write down the books that you're using. And there's mazes. Of course, he loves mazes. Here's where he did some reading last week so they can draw pictures and they can write. And like I said, he doesn't always have to write down what he's learned. We do a lot of talking. So if he just wants to talk about what he's learned, that's fine. But this book is just a guide for him. If he doesn't know what he wants to learn about, he can learn about galaxies. Um, there's all kinds of things in here. There's science projects. So this is a really fun book that he'll be using. He also has this PDF. Um, this was offered for free. If you will follow the um, Fun Schooling uh, Facebook page, they offer the PDFs for free sometimes for 50% off for buy one, get one. So you definitely want to follow them. I'll try to link it down below so you can go and join that page if you're interested because you can get a lot of these for free and print off. I did not print off the whole journal. These journals are thick, guys. I just print off a little bit at a time and we use it and then I'll add more to it. So this is the All About Animals Fun Schooling Journal. And then he has Heroes and Villains of History. This one's a lot of fun. This one has a list of people that 
you do your research on and you kind of decide are they a hero or a villain. After you've done your research, uh, you decide what you think. So it's fun. We like this book. We're um, about to also add in the Explorers and Pioneers Fun Schooling Journal and the Inventors and Inventions. We're excited about that. But they offer a ton of them. They have them for all subjects. They also have them for like electives like foreign language and uh, fashion. They have everything. So you definitely want to go check out their website so you can see what all they have to offer because there's cooking and baking and photography. There's Minecraft journals. There's all kinds of great stuff. So check them out. I'm not sponsored. I'm just a mama that loves them. And then he also has, and I forgot to bring his other one in here. He has, are you a math genius? And he has math mystery. So if you're worried about, is he going to be doing math? Because uh, I know people worry about that kind of stuff. So he has these books and he can pick them up and do the math in them anytime that he wants to. So the, we love these. Now, for all of you who know that I love Gather Round, we have not abandoned Gather Round. But we are approaching it differently. And I think I'm going to like it. Let me tell you what we're doing. So... I am so, so tired of rushing through these units. These gather around units are wonderful. And I feel like, and you know what, it's nobody's fault but mine. Because I put myself in these time constraints and say, hey, you've got to be done by this amount of time. And so we're rushing through these lessons. We're like, hurry up, do this lesson, do this activity. And we're not enjoying these units like we should. We were originally going to do the Christmas unit, okay? We did it last year, but my plan was to do it again. We enjoyed it last year. We had a really good time, but when I mentioned it to my son, he's like, do we have to do it again? And I'm really big on following his lead and what he wants to do, and he just wasn't into it. So why drag him through it? That makes for no fun at all. So we love Christmas. We're still celebrating Christmas, all those good things, watching all the movies, eating the cookies. We know the true meaning of Christmas, but we decided to do something different. Now, this is Artist, and when this bad boy was on the list to come out for year two, we were like, mm, I don't want to do Artist. I just really thought it was going to be one artist after the next, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you love art and you love artists, great for you. I'm not into it. My husband's into it. We've been to museums in New York. We've been to museums in Chicago. Still not into it. It's just not something I like. So I was like, I don't want to do this. Well, then she revamped it. And you guys, you got to check it out. I have been sitting and going through this unit the last couple of days. And it's amazing. And so what I decided to do, because we're doing this unschooling approach, I feel like one of my jobs as a parent is to expose. Expose him to as much as I can. Things he may not pick up on his own. So one day a week, we are going to do one lesson from the artist unit and then throughout the week we can do different activities and projects and learning that go along with it kind of like strewing if you've heard of that where you leave something out and your kids may or may not pick it up and use it or be interested in it and it's okay if they don't um, that's what we're going to do so we'll have a whole week to kind of get a feel for that one lesson and then the next week we're going to move on to the next lesson so let me show you a little bit of this um, I, first, I have, like, the planning page that comes in the teacher's companion where I just took a few notes on what I wanted to do. If you know anything about us, the last unit, we did not use the student notebook as it's intended. I pulled from it what I wanted to, and the rest we made up on our own. And that's kind of what I did here. I have some pages that I'm definitely going to read from the student notebook, and then some where we're doing our own thing. And that's what's on this thing. So the first lesson is, what is an artist? I'll just take you through a few of them. The second artist is about painters. So if you do enjoy learning about painters, you've got your lesson right here. Uh, lesson three is about ballet dancers. So this is going to hit a perfect time for us to talk about the Nutcracker and to watch some of the Nutcracker on TV. Not on TV. It'll probably be on TV. On a video. Probably YouTube. Lesson four is about poets. This will probably be my son's most favorite. Lesson five is about cartoonist. This guy's hits on all forms of art. It hits on baking and sculpting and dancing 
and novelists and screenwriters. It hits on everything. And then the very, uh, and, and do know that there's a prayer at the beginning of every lesson. And then lesson 20, lesson 20 is about the great design and God. So it's amazing. They're going to learn about interior design. They're going to learn about architects. Architects. They're going to learn about all kinds of artists. So don't shun this and think, oh, it's going to be super boring. It's not. So if you're thinking about doing a unit, this is an excellent one to try out. Don't forget to follow the Facebook page because there are albums for each of these units where people share their ideas. And don't forget that Gather Around Homeschool has an app that you can use where people put their ideas and share the things they're doing in real time right there for you to get ideas for you to use. So that's our plan. We will work on that for three weeks and then we will take a two week break. We always take two weeks off of Christmas and then we start back up again. So our plan for December is a little bit of unschooling, well, mostly unschooling, throwing this in once a week so that we can learn a little bit more about artists. So I want to thank Ingrid again from the Ingrid, I can't say Chronicles today, people. I want to thank Ingrid again from the Ingrid Chronicles for hosting this collaboration. Make sure you check out her channel, check out the playlist, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and as always, thank you so much for watching.